gosh. Why are there just cats everywhere? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today we're playing a different game. We're playing Calico and there's millions of cats on the screen, which I'm a fan of. <laughs> I honestly wasn't expecting to see that when I turned this game on. So that was a nice surprise. If you don't know what this game is, basically I found this game, I think it was the middle of last year and it's advertised as magical girls running cat cafes. And that just sounds exactly like something I would really enjoy. And I've been waiting all this time to play it on the channel with you all. So recently I've actually had a lot of people messaging me asking me to play this game on the channel. That made me really happy because I've been planning to play it on the channel for ages. So yeah, I guess let's just get started. I can't believe I'm starting my new life tomorrow. Ugh, oh, I have to pick something to wear. Okay, and here's our character creation screen. Um, let's pick our skin color. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we can have blue skin, green, yellow. What the heck? I was expecting like a couple of colors to choose from, not like every shade under the rainbow. That's amazing. <laughs> I have a feeling that this character creation process is gonna take a while. I think I might just be quiet and try to get through it as quickly as I can because there's so many options here. So I might just skip past this and put this in fast forward for you guys to see me create my character. Okay, so this is our character. Oh, look how lovely. Oh, it's those two characters from the front cover. Those two are so cute. Oh, how lovely. I love the pink trees. I wish that my Animal Crossing Island could look like this. Just pink trees everywhere all the time. And here's our cafe. Oh, how lovely. Oh my goodness, my character looks so plain in this world. And they sound like Animal Crossing characters, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Ah, hello! Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this little village. I love her socks. We are so excited to have you here. We were all so sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. Though she did send me a postcard last week and it looks like she's really enjoying travelling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, look how cute that cat is! <laughs> oh, whoops. Of course you know all about that having come from another island yourself. Anywho, all that matters is that you're here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Okay, that sounds fun. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Oh jeez, wait. Even more first, I need to give you a welcome gift. Here's a couple of things that will help you settle in. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure what she gave me. Um. <laughs> oh, look at this little cat. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You can just wiggle the cat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So cute, little chubby cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so my what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this game. Oh my gosh. Hey friendo, did you check out the place? I love the layout and that star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do though. It's completely empty of both people, animals and food. I actually brought you some furniture to help you out, but I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you would like best. So I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Cute, rad or spooky? I'm gonna go with cute. This reminds me of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp at the beginning. Oh perfect, I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. Okay, I'll go do that now actually, that sounds fun. So here's the inside of our cafe, it's so empty. Um, we should definitely try decorating here. We have some pet bowls. Around here we have the little kitchen. It's nice and pink. <laughs> this cat is so cute. <laughs> I would love to just carry around a cat like this all day. Though the cat wouldn't enjoy it very much in real life. <laughs> okay, so I guess let's try decorating. We look in our inventory, we have two tables, two bunny chairs, and two little bunny sofas. That's so cute! Oh, this is a bit difficult to place down. I want to put these little chairs next to the table, but it's really hard to see what I'm doing. I'm not really sure if there's a way to like zoom out. I can't really figure it out with the controller. Um, so this may just be me struggling with this, but 
This is really awkward to place the furniture down. <laughs> okay, so I've decorated in there now. Let's go talk to Kiva. She's so pretty. I love her glasses. Hmm. Okay, what's next? Animals. Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it's the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe? Normally you should avoid wild animals, but the magic of this island has made them all super friendly and cuddly. Oh, that's so cute! You can pick up any animal and use the animal command to tell them to follow you or go to the cafe. Your animal journal keeps track of all the animals you've met and lets you give them names, summon them to your party or give them hats. Give them hats? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go on a search for the cutest animals to add to our cafe. Oh my goodness, doesn't the character run really weird? Oh my gosh, they run so weird. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a little dog. Hello. I didn't realise there'd be dogs in this game as well. It's an Aussie. Hello. <laughs> I don't want a dog in my cafe though, to be honest. Be free! <laughs> Ooh, it's like a tree house over here. Oh, that's such a cute character. Hello. Hello there, my name's Marla, Vice President of the Owl Club at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry, I'm the Vice President of nothing right now. It was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go to the mountains, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the president of the Owl Club and the president of my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm guessing we'll have to unlock that area at some point. Oh my goodness, there's a little cat. Hello. Oh, hi. Chompy. That is such a cute name for a cat! Look at him! He is such a chompy boy! I love him! <laughs> Look at his tummy! Oh my gosh! He's so cute! I love her hat! You there, you look like a person that appreciates a good flower. And we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers, because good flowers is what we've got. Uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often, but you get the idea. I'm Lily. I help my pops run the flower store. Oh, that's so nice, a flower shop. Oh, I wish I could run a flower shop. Be free, Chompy. I assume he's her cat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a rabbit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Stanford? Oh my gosh, Stanford, you're my new best friend. Look at him. Look at him wiggling. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute, this game. I love it so much. This is my new best friend. I love him. What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food. Duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. Can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Okay, sounds good. Oh, something else to note. This island is very much based in old magic. The way we do things is a little bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Wait, what? Sorry, what? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Okay. Here we are, so we can make a cupcake, some coffee, or a macaron. Ah, oh, that's so cute. I think let's start with the cupcake first. Wait. <laughs> Why am I tiny? Oh my gosh, I'm so tiny! This is so fun! Oh my goodness. Oh no! Ah! I've got to aim better. <laughs> what is this? Why am I small? Why did they decide to do it like this? I have no idea. But I love it. <laughs> so we need the sugar next. There we go. Here's the butter over here. Wow, my character is super strong. And lastly, we need an egg. So here we go. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I lost my egg. Quick, let's grab another one. There we go. Oh, and it just turns into a cupcake. Oh my gosh. What is this game? It's so weird. I love it. 
<laughs> there we go. And magically I'm big again. I kind of miss being small now. I love this cat. Look at it wiggle. Ah, I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbours. Once you've met someone, they will start coming to the cafe whenever they have free time in their schedule. When people visit your cafe, they'll buy the food you've made, even when you aren't there. Your magical food stock is infinite, so don't worry about making new food every day. However, the town folk all have different tastes, so if you change up the food in your display case, they may tip you more for their favourites. Unfortunately, we have had some problems travelling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot spring for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, you can find me or anyone else you've met on your map. See you, friendo. Okay, thank you. See ya. Meet the townspeople to learn about the mountain path. Okay. Though we've already met quite a few of them, I suppose we should just make the rounds and go meet everyone else. Oh, that's so cool! We have a cat toy we can play with as well! How cute is this? <laughs> okay, I'm climbing up this mountain. It says I need to meet the townspeople to learn about the mountain path. I don't know if it mean means this. But I'm making my way up here. Oh my goodness, and there's birds in this game? I didn't know there were birds. That's so cool! Look how lovely and peaceful it is up here, under this cherry blossom tree. Hello, little bird! Oh, I love him. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. So inside this globe, we've got like a little fairy house. Oh, this is so nice. We've got these humongous lily of the valleys and this tiny little house. Let's see who's in here. Oh, hello. Greetings, traveller, and welcome to my palatial emporium of potent, potable, portable, pourable potions. I'm Portum. <laughs> Autumn. I'm Autumn. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing and I have no idea where she is, and the warrior's got me totally behind on making potions. Oh no, I'm sorry. Hello? Boots! Oh my gosh, I love boots! Okay, it's night time now, so I guess we should go to sleep. And we can carry on our quest tomorrow. Okay, it's a new day. Let's go meet everyone. I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide at the entrance of Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. I have no idea how you can help, but if you find a way through, I promise you can be a prestigious member of our owl club. I do like owls. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really, really high up, and I'm scared of heights. I know that seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. But don't you live in a treehouse? Oh my goodness, there's an orange cat! Hello! <gasps> Tiger! Oh my gosh, I love this cat! This is my favourite cat we've met so far! Look at him wiggle! Look at him go! <laughs> Why does it make my character look so weird? Oh, I love that cat and I love this little fairy forest area! Wow, that would be incredible! I have a feeling she might be near the centre of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good place to start. Okay, so we're on a quest to find her missing cat, which I really want to find because having a missing cat is just the worst thing ever. Oh my gosh, are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is the best day ever. My name's Maribel and I own the fashion store in town. You should come by and see my clothes. You will look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit, but you can always have more. Okay, well I actually really want to buy some new clothes, so let's have a look. A long apron. Oh my goodness, a heart cut out top. I must have it. We've got cat ears as well, overalls. Okay, I must have this t-shirt. Okay, so this is our new outfit. Oh, and his char. Oh, how cute is he? We'll have to take him back up to her. Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer. Or should I say, a new neighbour? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. Okay, I'll have to come back another time. We have to take Char back to his owner. Is this your Char? I can't believe you found my Char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Help with the landslide or help with the landslide? <laughs> I'm gonna go with help with the landslide. Oh, hmm, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountains since one of my biggest customers is there. Lumi up at the Snowbell Hot Springs always commissions potions from me for her herbal baths. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks though. 
Let me think about this a bit. Hmm. I got it. Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. Okay. So I'll have to go sleep again, I guess. <laughs> Look at this cat. He is so cute and I love him. I want to be with him forever. Little tiger. He is such a baby boy. I love him. Hello there. Today is a special day. I found abandoned owl eggs in the forest a while back and they're almost ready to hatch. I have them under a heat lamp in my bedroom. We should have little owl chicks any hour now. That's so amazing. I know, I can't wait for them to see the world. I'm worried about the heat lamp I'm using though. That's what keeps the baby owls and the eggs warm. I've gone out a couple of times and had to fiddle with it to get it working again. Is it very important? Super important. It's not safe for the owl chicks if they don't stay warm. Honestly, I should just get a different heat lamp, but I'm worried to leave the eggs in case this one dies again while I'm gone. I need to stay here and keep them warm as best as I can. Can I ask you to run into Estelle's shop and get another heat lamp from her and come back? Of course, I don't want anything bad to happen to the baby owls. Okay, I guess let's go do that. Howdy there. Need anything? Gosh, you look so cute today. I'm glad you asked because I actually do need something from you. I've been chatting with Safina over in Cutie City about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant, she knows everyone and she always knows the latest trends in fashion too. Anyway, she suggested that I do a photo shoot wearing some of the clothes I sell for an article her friend is writing. The article's about 21 fashionable businesswomen of the 21st century. I think that was it? The point is that I need photos. Your shop has been looking so adorable that I thought it would be the perfect backdrop. You don't mind, do you? I can come really early in the morning so I won't get in any of your customers' way. Sure. That's great. I've got some new cloud pattern dresses coming in, so as soon as they're here, I'll pop over to take some photos. And what would be really great is if you could find a cloud-themed prop or two so I could use them in the photos. I can cover the costs and give you something extra for your help. Okay. You're the best. This is going to blow Safina's mind. Okay, so we need to get some cloud furniture. Darling, so good to see you. <laughs> You're not even looking at me, though. Um, do you have a heat lamp? Emergency heat lamp, huh? Does this have anything to do with her owl chick she was trying to hatch? Yeah, her old lamp keeps going out. Oh dear, well luckily I have just the lamp, guaranteed to stay on and strong. Here you go. Don't worry about the cost, I'll talk with Marla later. You run that back to her right away. Okay, thanks Estelle. Let's head back I guess. So I need to remember to get some new furniture. I did the thing! Hi, you got the heat lamp? That's amazing news, you're just in time. This one died on me again. They haven't even started hatching yet. I'll turn the new one on and it should only just take a minute to warm them up. Soon I'll be able to welcome these little ones to the world. They still need to stay under the heat lamp for a while, even once they're born. They might not have made it if it weren't for your help, but now I know they'll be okay. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad they'll be okay. Can we go see them? Let's ha go have a look in her little tree house. Oh, we can't actually go inside? Ah, I suppose they're imaginary baby owls then. Okay, so there's our cafe changed up. I changed all the tables to egg tables instead of these plain ones. Um, but actually, why don't I put this little plain one over by the sofa? It'll be a little cozy area to sit by the window. Oh, my cafe looks so cute now. Hello, greetings, traveller. How goes the potion? So sleepy. I stayed up all night tinkering around with this potion. You have to spend a lot of time getting a potion right before you use it. It's a shame if you don't test it enough and let's say you turn yourself into half cat forever. Oh, that explains your face. I was thinking that she looks like she's half cat. I mean, I really like being half cat, but still. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yes, potion. Presenting the first ever Begiffy potion. Use this on any animal to make them huge. Oh, but it won't work on birds. Mixing flying and magic is tricky. How will that help with the landslide, or how will that help with the landslide? <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoops. Uh, I mean, this potion is perfect. The potion makes Kitty big and strong. Big and strong enough to plow through those rocks. I mean, I think that'll work. Try it out. All of my potions are reversible, so just use them on your animals or yourself a second time to undo the effects. Okay, well... I was really wanting a mount because walking around has been taking me forever. So we've got to make our bunny big. <laughs> we definitely have to choose Stanford as our mount. Okay, so here goes the potion. <gasps> <Whoa! laughs> oh my goodness. Stanford is so big now. Oh my goodness, this is so much easier to get around. I've probably cut majority of it out, but... Walking around in this game has taken a long time. I've been recording for a really long time and 
most of it has just been me walking around trying to figure out where I'm meant to be going in but this seems to be making things a lot quicker so that's good and I'm really happy it's so cute you can have any animal turn big and turn into a mount. Oh it doesn't look like Estelle has any cloud furniture for sale. I suppose we have to get it from somewhere else. Okay here we go time to smash through those rocks and finally go up the mountain. Woo! <laughs> okay awesome! Oh, and the music is different up here. That's nice. Oh, look at that deer. Hello. How lovely. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, I'm sorry. What the heck? Oh, we can ride around on this deer as well. I love him. I really want to add him to my cafe. Go to the cafe, Snowy Deer. Oh my goodness, polar bears! I've been waiting to come across a bear. Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, go to the cafe! And your little babies too. I don't want to leave them on their own. Go to the cafe! My cafe's gonna just be completely full of animals. Look how cute this bear is! Look at him dance! Look at him wiggle! <laughs> Oh, I love him. Oh, hello. She's like a little owl girl. Thank you so much for fixing the path. I missed Marla so much. She's the coolest. We met over our mutual love of owls. I mean, we're also both owls, but we also really like owls. We have an owl club together. We have one other member named Ash. Ash isn't an owl, but they said that they really dug owls. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who? Oh, you. Do you need anything? Hi, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think that different kinds of animals can be friends? Yeah, definitely. I've seen it in the cafe. Even cats and birds. I think that birds are such great pets. They're smart and their feathers are so beautiful. I wanted to ask you to look around for a nice bird and let it stay in your cafe. Okay, no problem. Great, pick out a feathered friend for your cafe and let me know. I thought I already had a crow though. I suppose she wants me to pick a new one. Because I swear I already had a crow. Because I remember him sleeping next to my bed in my bedroom in the cafe. There must be other birds in the game too. Oh my goodness, look at this doggo! Oh my gosh, I love this doggo! To the cafe! <laughs> what is this area down here? I'm guessing this is Cutie City. Oh, hello! Is that a cat on its hind legs? <laughs> what is going on? Meow, 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 meow. Construction cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Meow meow, mew mew meow meow. Oh, can I go through? Mew. Oh, I'll take that as a no then. There's just loads of cats sleeping in construction hats. <laughs> They're not even doing any construction. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, another big rabbit. Oh, its name is just Rabbit. He doesn't already have a name, unlike Stanford. I think I might have stolen somebody's pet since he was in a pen. <laughs> And I kind of just robbed him, but me and Stanford are good friends now. Oh no, my cafe is full. I'll have to go back there at some point and sort out the animals I have and pick my favourites. Come on, Stanford, let's go. What is this area? Oh, this is so pretty. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Come in from the cold. I'm Lumi and this is my Honzen, the perfect place to revitalise your body and mind. You must be the one that cleared the path from Heart Village. I can't thank you enough. You and your animals can use the onsen anytime you want, free of charge. Oh my goodness, is that a capybara in the background? Oh my gosh. Capy the capybara? Oh my gosh. You guys don't understand. I went to the zoo a couple of years back and I saw a capybara for the first time. And before I saw it at the zoo, I didn't even know capybaras existed. And I was so, just so happy and surprised seeing an animal for the first time that you've literally never seen exist before, ever. I didn't even know anything that looked like it existed. So when I saw it, I was just so amazed. Like, how often is it that you get to see a species of animal that you've never seen before or seen anything like it? And I just absolutely fell in love with the capybaras. And I'm so happy there are capybaras in this game because they're just so cute and I love capybaras so much. I wish you guys could have seen my excitement when I first ever saw one because they're just so cute. If you haven't seen one, definitely Google them because they're just the cutest little animals. They're like a little horse hamster. They're just so cute. We've got these big capybaras too. Captain Barra <laughs> and Friendo. Aww. That's so cute! Friendo, I love you! <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Come back here, little Gabby. You're gonna come back with me. <laughs> Hello, I hope you're doing well today. It's so nice to see you back here again. Not everyone from Heart Village likes to travel, so it's hit or miss with newcomers whether I'll get to see them much. Admittedly, it is a bit of a climb to get up here from the village, and not everyone can take the cold. But hey, since you seem to like it up here, maybe you could do a favour for me. What do you need? It makes me a little sad that some of the people who live in the woods around town don't get to experience the magic of the snowy mountains and their animals. There's so much to love about the mountains. There's the beautiful views, the trees, and the fluffy snow. But the best part is all the special animals that live up here. My favourite is the arctic fox. It's so majestic. I've been trying to look for a fox this whole time. I thought if you had snow animal in your cafe, it would be a great way for the townsfolk who aren't able to make the trek up here to get to know these animals too, and appreciate a little bit of the mountains. And it might even encourage some people to come up here, who knows? Okay, great. I'm really impressed that you're able to accommodate so many different kinds of animals in your cafe. I've got my hands full of just my capybaras. I think I saw an arctic fox wandering around not too far from here. Let me know once you get her settled in, I want to come visit. Okay, so there is actually foxes in this game. I was really hoping there was because I really love foxes and I was trying to find one this whole time and an arctic fox sounds amazing so let's go look for him. Here it is. At least I think that's the arctic fox anyway. Oh my goodness, how am I going to take all these animals back? <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad when you pick them up and they make a weird noise. I've got to figure out a way to take all of these with me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Stanford should be following me behind. I've managed to figure out a way to bring them all with me. Look at little capybara clinging on for his dear life. <laughs> okay, here we are back at the cafe and there's all these lovely animals in the garden. Oh, we have this little pond over here. This is all so lovely now. Oh, and the polar bear is here. Hello. <laughs> the polar bear trying to get into my cafe. Oh, look how lovely the deer is over here. So we've got all these wonderful animals now. We've got the big doggo. He's so cute. We've got our lovely koi pond with all these fish. Are the fish okay? They're not moving. Oh my god, I think they might be dead. Why is there a fish floating in the sky? What is going on? This game. What the heck? Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. I really enjoyed playing this game. I think it was really cute. I love collecting all the animals. I think the concept is such a lovely, wonderful concept, which is the main reason I was so excited to play this game. I liked the music, and I would recommend you guys to check it out if you like the look of it as well. The concept of magical girls creating a cat cafe is just so lovely. I really want to see more games of concepts like this about girls. I think that this game really has great intentions and I think with a little bit more work it could be amazing. At the moment I still think it's pretty fun and pretty cute so if you do get the chance to play this game I would recommend it. If you want to see more videos of me playing this game please do let me know in the comments because I don't know whether to continue making videos of a certain game unless you let me know. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this game and if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!